Were you familiar with the game? I didn't know about the game before I got the job. And then I got the job and I found out very quickly about the game. It's a very famous video game. Yeah, I've, I've, I've heard. That, that um, uh... <laughs> <laughs> You haven't played The Last of Us? <laughs> no. <laughs> I needed, it needed to be explained to me. <laughs> um, but uh, when, I, when, I, when I got the job, I, I, uh, I was very familiar with HBO. I was very familiar with Craig Mazin, who, mm. who created uh, Chernobyl. Yeah. And, uh, but I called my sister, who's got two teenage boys. Uh, uh, and I was on speakers when she answered. She was uh, dropping them off at school. And she's like, what's going on? And I said, well, there's this job offer and, uh, 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 or opportunity um, that uh, it's based actually on a video game. And uh, Bruno and Pedro are my nephew's names. And they're like, what is it? And I was like, it's called The Last, and they're, The Last of Us? <laughs> <laughs> you better get that job! <laughs> well, you talk about getting that job. Uh, your experience of getting that job, quite hazy, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I was in London. Yes. I was in London. Yeah. <laughs> this is horrible. Oh, OK. <laughs> OK, so it all happened very, very quickly. It was a very strange thing where it was read the scripts, talk to Craig, uh, 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 and then, you know, it was getting later and later at night. And uh, we're shooting in London at the time. And uh, they needed me to stay up late to meet the creator of the video game and the executive producer, Carolyn Strauss, who was on Game of Thrones. And um, to continue kind of like, you know, convincing, trying to convince them to hire me for the job. And um, by the time it was all said and done, it was late. And uh, I... Uh, uh, I took a, a an Ambien, a, a sleeping Ooh, a sleeping yes. tablet. That's that's strong. To go to bed, yeah. Because yeah. I knew that I needed to. Because I was at that point, I was kind of hyped up. Yeah, yeah. You've got to work the next day. You've got to yeah. Sleep. yeah, and I was excited about yeah. Yeah. the the prospect. So they called me to tell me that I had gotten the job, but I had already taken the tablet. <laughs> <laughs> So I really didn't think, I thought that I would at least have to wait until the next day, yeah. you know? And, so um, oh, okay. Yeah, I remember actually. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, I was like, oh my God. And then like a couple of minutes on the call went by apparently, and I was like, so what's up? Did, you, did I get the job? And they were like, what, what are you talking about? We called you, we told you you got the job. And I was like, oh, I did? And they're like, what's it? And I was like, oh, I took a tablet. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that completely. Woke up in the morning. It yeah. was all like, oh, my God, did I get the job? <laughs> you know? like, I'm going to have to wait all day. They're in L.A. I'm in London. So many, I'm going to be waiting by the phone and everything. And, and, and I, had, I, I had gotten the job. I'm surprised you kept the job. <laughs> <laughs> the Graham Norton Show. All new. Sundays at 11 on BBC America. And streaming on AMC+.